Hey beauties, welcome back. Um, today I was gonna do a quick few videos. Um, first thing I'm gonna start with is a dupe for the KVD Good Apple Foundation. So that is this Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. Um, so I'm gonna check this out. We're gonna do a little wear test on this. And I'm also gonna do a full face of basically just kind of dupes and, and drugstore makeup in a sense. Um, just for the face and basically do a wear test with that. One thing I wanted to preface with is that I, from my research, it seems like the KVD Good Apple and the Milani foundation are both not the greatest for oily skin, which I have in my T-zones. I kind of have combination skin, but I do get really oily in this vicinity. So I'm going to do a little extra effort when it comes to priming and setting um, this foundation, just to kind of see with that in mind, um, how long it can last. So we're gonna do an eight hour test, because for me, that's a typical day. Um, and just see see how it goes um, and then I'm gonna go off screen and do an eye look come back and then continue to show the wear throughout the day um, okay so let's get started so the first thing I'm gonna start with is and again we're doing drugstore kind of dupes is the elf poreless putty primer which is supposed to be kind of like a dupe uh, for the Tatcha silk canvas primer which I have tried and absolutely love um, I do also want to mention while I'm doing this because obviously we are gonna take a little bit of time here, um, is that I, with my Milani foundation on this, have not tried the Milani foundation yet, and I also haven't tried the KVD Good Apple, so I'm not necessarily comparing it to the KVD, because to be honest, I don't wanna break the bank and spend the money on that, and on top of that, they're like impossible to get a hold of right now. So I'm just trying the Milani, so I'm just gonna give you feedback on that one alone. So stay tuned. Um, obviously, I'm just going in with the primer here. Okay, so my first kind of tip trick that I'm gonna use to try and make sure this foundation stays is to basically set my primer, add an extra layer in a sense between my oily skin and the foundation to kind of absorb the oil before it gets there. Um, so I'm gonna be using for my setting powder and my prepping powder in a sense, um, the Cody Airspun air spun loose face powder this i get off of amazon super affordable it's like one of my favorite things to get it comes how many how big is this it comes in 2.3 ounces so it's a pretty big tub lasts forever um and then i'm using my sephora 50 face brush um to apply that so when you're setting by the way powder for your primer before the foundation be very careful not to add too much so I usually get a little bit of the excess from the lid, pat it off back into the lid, and then just kind of dab my face in the oilier areas. So you can kind of see the shine dissipating here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside because we're gonna need that in a second. And we're gonna go in with the foundation. Uh, now, another thing that I've noticed is that with the foundation, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to add a little bit, blend out, and add more if needed. Um, I wasn't sure which color to get because I was getting them online because every store was also sold out of the Milani foundation. So I did try to, I'm going to start with the lighter one, see if it works. If not, I'll build up to the slightly darker one and we'll see how it goes from there. Um, obviously, the color match may not be there but we'll see. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit, that really might be too light, and blend it out. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really into that. Okay, I'm gonna try the darker one on the other side and we'll see how that looks. <laughs> okay, that is looking much better for a color match. So I'm gonna stick with that one, get rid of this concealer brush now because I can go in with it. Um, and I'm just gonna take my buffing brush, get in there with the darker shade. By the way, for me, this darker shade was the 208 Buff. By the way, I was kind of concerned when I was going with the concealer brush that the coverage wasn't gonna be great. But I mean, as you guys can see, you can, you know, cover almost anything. I mean, I could go in with more if I really wanted to and build it up, but I don't want too much coverage. 
Um, but on this side of my face, just like the other one, was before, you can see all the freckles peeking through, all the sunspots on this side almost entirely covered and that wasn't a lot of product to be entirely frank. So going in with some on the other side now. And by the way, I mean, it says it in the name, but this is supposed to be a cream to powder finish. So obviously it's going on creamy, but it is supposed to dry out as a powder product. Apparently I did a very terrible job with color matching when I ordered online because even the darker one is clearly a little light for me, but I also did get a lot of sun lately. So I'm very tan compared to normal. And you can compare to the inside of my arm here, which is a better match than the outside right now. Um, okay, so the next kind of dupe product that I'm gonna use for the face um, is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, obviously the health Elf Camo Concealer is the real dupe, but the dupe is supposed to be for the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, so just like Tarte, they have a standard concealer, which is the Shape Tape versus the Camo Concealer, but they also just came out with a hydrating line, just like Tarte. Um, I wanted the more hydrating one just because I feel like the actual Shape Tape, which I have tried, um, tends to kind of cake under my eyes and I don't really like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this in to conceal. And I added in a tone that was a few shades darker just to help kind of contour. Um, by the way, the lighter shade I used was light peach and the darker shade is medium neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do is just set all of this um, because again, I get very oily. Um, so I'm gonna get powder on my brush and just press that in again to the more oily areas, this time not shaking off the excess and just getting in there and pressing it in. Okay, and there is the face base. So again, I'm gonna go off camera now, complete my face, um, but just for the purposes of getting the face on and the wear test, it is now 12.16 p.m. So we're gonna kind of check in periodically until around 8, 8.30 p.m. And I will let you know how this goes, but I will check back in just after I get the full face on um, and we'll do a time check then. So I'll be right back. So it is now two o'clock. So we're looking at about an hour and 45 minutes in. Um, I finished my entire face, um, but I mean, you can tell it's still holding up pretty well. Um, I haven't gone in or mattified my face at all um, since I set it around 12.15ish. Um, so it's still holding through. I'm not getting a lot of oil shining through. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna peek in my mirror here. Um, by the way, I did add some highlighter, so that's what you're seeing here. Um, but to be entirely frank, it's still pretty matte. I did, like I said, you know, go in and I set my primer, I set my face. So I'm hope hopeful that it's gonna stick, but we'll see. Um, again, about an hour and 45 in, looking good. So I'll check back in in a few hours and we'll see how it looks then. And I'm back. Um, it is now like 4.11, um, so another two-ish hours in and everything is still holding up really well. Um, obviously not my lipstick, that is long gone. Um, but otherwise, I think I just, maybe I overdid it with my primer set and my face set because I'm actually shocked right now. I don't know if maybe it's because the Milani is less oily than the KVD Good Apple. I was just expecting a lot more oil peeking through by now, um, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. Could just be me. Again, could have been the way I prepped it. Maybe I'm not as oily as I used to be. <laughs> I'm pretty oily, I'm gonna take that back. I am very oily. Um, but everything is holding up so far. So we are now basically four hours in. Yeah, four hours in. So we're halfway there. I had to think about it. Math is not my forte. Okay, I will be back around six in about two hours and we'll see how this is holding up. See you guys then. Okay, so here we are. Um, actually, it's been a little bit longer than two hours. It's about, what time is it now? 6.40. Um, I got caught up cooking. 
it's it's still cooking right now so overall impressions you know the oil is starting to come through now it's not super bad as you can see um so i'm not upset about it um i did have a bit of like a sneeze attack earlier so i literally took off everything my nose if you can see um but everywhere else is still holding up pretty darn well um i mean look at that um but again i do feel the oil coming through um it is a really hot day here though so i'm you know i could just be feeling that but to be entirely frank again it's not looking too bad so we'll see how this looks in like another 45 minutes or so when we hit that eight hour mark it might be a little bit later because probably gonna finish cooking and then eat first um but i will be back then around 15 ish and we'll see how it's holding up overall then but so far so good again a lot better than i had expected um but who knows if it was the primer the setting the primer setting in general whatever um so we'll see okay so it is now a little past 8 45 like i said a little bit behind um but I I'm a messy eater. Again, I had a runny nose, so like this entire area is gone. Oops. <laughs> um, but for the rest of my face, we still are seeing pretty, pretty full coverage. Um, I am getting a lot more oil peeking through. You know, if I wipe my finger, it's I, I see it, but the product isn't lifting, so that's really good. Um, aside from that, though, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. Again, I don't know if it's the actual combination of the products per se or the way that i applied them um but again aside from the sections that i kind of rubbed off i mean you guys tell me what do you think i think i'm in love um so yeah comment below let me know what you think let me know if you've tried it what your opinions are so for the face products right um the elf putty primer the poreless putty primer the Milani cream to powder foundation and the elf hydrating camo concealer um so those were like the face products i used oh and the cody air spun air spun loose powder for um translucent powder so hopefully you guys liked this video um if you're interested in seeing more wear tests let me know um, or just hearing feedback about certain products feel free to comment them below and let me know which ones you want to hear about um, otherwise i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and thanks for tuning in bye